Hooray! Happy New Year to all of you supporting me. I'm so grateful. So this is what I did for you. I got two templates, box titles and breaking news. Let's take a look at what these can do for you. Let's go ahead and install it. You first off have to go to my Patreon page. I'll leave the link below. You go to my Patreon page, you download the template that says um, Eric box title and breaking news. You wanna right click and extract it. When you go in the folder, readme file here that shows you how to basically install it. Open that up, uh, it says that you need to copy the files in the macro folder to the following path so you're gonna want to copy this part right here and we're gonna look for the files in a folder called macros so let's just go ahead and do that so a double click go in there go to templates and go to macros and then we're gonna copy these files but first off I'm gonna paste it here let's um, hit enter it's gonna take me to that folder so all I have to do now is to just copy these files and drag them into that folder that's it once it's installed it says this restart resolve and the template will appear under effects tab because you have resolve already open i cannot find it here so i need to restart resolve so let's just go ahead and do that so i got resolve restarted so now when we go to the effect library and we go to titles and then we scroll down we can now find eric box title and eric breaking news let's take a look at the breaking news first so as you can see here we need to feed um a logo a world map logo to it go onto the fishing page to drag, i have a world map downloaded from google i'm dragging it in here and i connect it to it and that should be fine but i have a project file that comes with this template already has this set up for you so you wouldn't have to do this we can change the fonts to whatever we want three main colors this color is for the text and this one is for you can see i mean it should tell you and this is the gradient for the main text background over there you've got ce one to four so you can just replace any of them for instance london you can replace it to accra or something like that and if you if it doesn't update you just have to move your timeline around for a bit just to get it cooked up my computer is a bit few years old it's a bit old so it's it's just lagging so as you can see the across change that i put there you can see that um, the animation is great we can play now and see how it looks like great so these ones um the cities will be changing themselves so you just put them here and this is the main title it says chomps new tax reform so you can see everything is self-explanatory i don't need to tell you anything just change the text here to wherever you you want you can change it and this is the the the, the crawler this one is the, the text that's calling down here so um if you go further down yeah, that's not much to it i mean basically it's the setting for you to alter everything here you can change all this and the headline over there as well if you don't want the gradient color you can just set both of them to the same color and that way it will take the gradient up for instance if you wanted them to be the same color you can always go in there add to add custom color and then you can come and pick this one and then double click and choose that color so to make it flat as a flat color so you don't want the gradient you can also do that so that's it about the breaking news so let's just get rid of it and bring in um the box title a big deal so i'll put a box title here as you can see we've got five lines to deal with if you don't want any of the lines you just have to delete whatever is there and then 
if you just for instance I just need two lines um, you could just put in your text there say boxed uh, then I'll put title here so there you have it uh, so the box title if you don't want it you just clear them this is the text color so I can change it for instance the text color to red and if you come down we've got align well align basically does this uh, you can align it if you go to negative one negative one is aligned to the left and then middle is center and, and then one is aligned to the right so what it is is it's going to shift it to the right and then it's going to arrange it if you can see they are arranged and aligned on the left and then you can also align them on the right that's it uh so i'm gonna put it back to center i think the next thing we have on the line is offset you can use this to basically just offset it left and right you can offset it down up and down as well so i can just center it right here and depending on the alignment the offset would be a bit off because for instance if you just do move it to the right and then you go left the line as well it's going to push it further so you want to want to make sure you always uh reset it so it's gone off screen and bringing it back so that's just for you to know so i'm just gonna center it again and i'm just gonna uh rearrange this place but moving on uh we have scale as usual it's a self-explanatory it scales it up and scales it down but when you scale up this spacing changes as well so as you can see the spacing is not the same as it was so you might want to adjust your space and whatever you scale up or down if i sc scale all the way down really depending on your scale you can change your spacing to space the boxes apart and this is the color for the background as you can see uh, what color will blend with red uh, nothing will be good sometimes in resolve you don't get all the properties they're hidden right there so you're gonna wanna click on this little icon here and then when it reduces it you can just scroll down and then just click click on it again so you can see the rest background color certainly this is not working um, let's just set it back to white and the next one we have is the box width the box width um, just increase the width of the box that's the box width let's just bring it back down a bit it's too wide the height as well you can make it bigger and once you make the height bigger you might want to attach the spacing as well because they overlap in each other so that's the box title for you and we also have a skew just to slide it and rotate it until it's it you can space it in a bit to see how it feels like when it's spacing that oh, just spacing more so you can see you can go either way negative or positive depending on the look that you want i'm gonna reset that back uh, i'm gonna also bring the spacing down a bit and then also reduce the height a bit and then reduce my spacing again right and the next one here is duration the duration is basically the the frames it says 25 frames so basically when it animates in it will have to stay for 25 frames before it animates out but if you want it to stay on for a long time before it animates out you might want to increase this to 30 frames 50 frames the more frames you want it to stay for and the speed is also to bump up the speed or to slow it down the animation the whole animation so that's it i'm gonna open the project that came with it the template project that i've done with box title and you see how i used it to create different uh, ideas and you can also uh, use this in your projects and all that so if you want to use the templates that came with it you click on this home button here this little house and you click on it now you can right click and say restore project archive where you extracted your template in the template folder when you go to the project folder you can import any of these uh, templates that I've done so first off I'm gonna bring in the box title so I'm gonna select it open it and that is gonna import it as a separate project here so I can open this new project I save my project what I'm doing if we go to the media pool and we have these two folders here we go edit you go to edit we go some few ideas um this is actually what you saw in the promo so it's got different ideas that i've done you can actually copy any of these and then paste in your project 
if we go to the lower third i did some samples so you can just double click and open it to see what we've got in the lower third so the first one i get a simple name tag yeah so there you have it and then i did this idea as well look that's, that's cool so if you shut the layers down you can see i shut the first two layers down you can see what i just did i use just a box title and then the first one here i just put a dot on the first line just to get the border width and then increase the border width a little bit and place it there and then on the second one uh what i did was uh, i just created this creator and then put it on this side and then on the last one it's just a main one i put the name there so simple with this simple steps i got this cool animation let's move on to second one is quote yeah so there you have it the quote you can just use it again i use a trick the same text that is in the i copied it again um just just change the colors same color for the text and the background just to clear the background uh, the text on it and then i use this and i change it that's a simple thing um, let's go on to the next one is list how you can also use this to make some list right so on the list uh it's just then again simple i just duplicate edit use one post title i put numbers one to four five i just change the colors position them here align them and then duplicate the same thing and then Move it to the other side, change the settings, change the names there. And there you have it. Let's, let's go ahead and open the other template. Again, we're going to right click and say restore project archive. And then we're going to choose the breaking news one. And let's see what that one brings. So here we have it. We're going to open it. I don't want to save. Uh, let's just open that one. All right. So uh, if you go to the edit folder, you can see that I've, uh, I've got news one. That's mainly the template that you saw. I also got flat news flat that I just did the settings so that uh, the gradient has been, it's not there it's just a flat one and I also did one for sports it's the same thing I just tweak the settings to make it look different so just to show you what the possibilities that comes with it and also sports flat and with this one uh, I've already set up the logo so you don't have to go to the fusion page to change the uh, anything i've already put the world map there in case you want to change the map for it if you want to change the map you just have to go into the logo it's just right clicking and say open in timeline and there you have it you just have to put your image on top of this just mark it to the end and that's it so you can use it so there you have it there's two templates for you to so go to my patreon page download these files follow this tutorial use it and let me know i'm gonna launch a new website that's gonna host a lot of templates so it's gonna be constant bear with me last year has been rough i've not been really doing tutorials frequently but it's gonna i promise you it's gonna be frequent this year it's gonna be on point so you're gonna look out for the new website it's gonna be a lot of templates because i've been busy building templates the website's gonna be packed with templates from visual effects motion graphics to whatever and your request and everything we're gonna do that thanks for the support keep on subscribing hit the notification button so you can get notified as soon as i upload a new video it's been eric thanks for watching